Welcome to this quick start tutorial on the data link capabilities in the Challenger 650. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to fetch a clearance via ACARS. So we're going to jump in here and I'm just going to bring up my pop-up windows here. And so the first step of getting a cl digital clearance over data link is first of all, you will always want to have your flight plan in the, uh, in the FMC already loaded because otherwise uh, the data link download over ACARS does not provide a digital flight plan. So it's basically just to confirm that the flight plan you have in there is correct. Now notice if you follow the, pre -fl the flight compartment checklist, the checklist itself calls for this in the correct order. So it's gonna have you load your flight plan initially. And then further on, on page three, we actually get to the clearance line here. So that's, if you follow the checklist that you will have already done this in a correct order. So let's go ahead and close this. And I'm just gonna show you how to get the data, get the flight plan initially first from Simbrief. So we're gonna go into your route menu here, flight plan recall, and you can either enter your origin and destination airports, or you can enter your um, airplane identification number in Simbrief or the tail number. Flight plan number isn't quite the same thing in Simbrief as in the real FMS. So for the time being, I'm just gonna go ahead and use origin and destination. That's probably the easiest to follow. I'm gonna get, go ahead and click send. You have to have the uh, data link actually up and running at this point. So, you know, you'll wanna wait for about 30 to 60 seconds before you try this. Data link flight plan loaded. Go to secondary flight plan here, origin and destination, and our en route entered all correctly. So I'm gonna to go to the first page here, activate, execute. Now let's go ahead and go and request the uh, digital flight plan, uh, digital clearance from a ATC via ACARS. That is not the same as CPDLC clearance. That is a completely different subsystem. It's not done through here, through the fans menu. It is done instead through the data link menu. So we'll go into data link, departure clearance, and we're gonna to have to enter some information about us that's gonna be sent to ATC. So for facility ID, uh, you'll wanna enter whoever is issuing your clearances on the Hoppy network. So that'll be their identification on the network. It will usually be the tower identifier or the airport identifier, but it might be somebody different. This will depend upon specific, specific local, basically regulations and state of whatever network you're flying on, uh, VATSIM, Iveo, something else. This will depend on what they are calling themselves. So in my case, I'm just gonna pretend that it is SCIP. I'm running sort of a standalone debug state here. We're gonna enter our aircraft type. And basically we just have to fill in everything that's with boxes in here. So we're gonna say that we've got information PAPA, origin station or originating station. We are going from SCIP to SCEL. You can see we've got a little asterisk here next to the send. So that means we can send the message. We can also enter a gate. It's up to us, it's optional. If we don't have a gate, that's gonna say none. And with everything entered in here, uh, by the way, this ATS flight ID is your aircraft identification by default. You can enter whatever you want in there basically, but it is um, typically it should be your aircraft identity on the network as well, by which they will know you. So. I'm November 650 Channel Lima. I'm contacting SCIP for clearance. I am type Challenger 600. Um, this is the type identifier for all Challenger 600 series. It is, I have information pop up. I'm going from SCIP to SCEL. I'm not gonna specify a gate and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit send here. I'm gonna get a set common progress. Message has been downlinked. And now we basically just have to wait for ATC to go ahead and issue our clearance. You can see we've got the message on request. So if I go here, it says on request. And now we just wait. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate that ATC has responded. And in a few seconds, the FMC here will give us a response on that. We should also get a mess message up here. We've got a data link message on the CAS. We heard the chime. We got a departure clearance received. We can either push this or go to depart clearance. Um, this LSK ride six uh, will always basically bring up to the latest message. And so we've got the clearance. 
we'd review this. If we're happy, we can go ahead and accept it. If we're not happy, we would contact them on voice and request a different clearance or get something different organized. Let's go ahead and accept it. Tenant comment in progress. Message has been accepted. So at this point, ATC has given us clearance to conduct this flight and they have given us an initial departure, runway, altitude to climb. The contents of this message will be again, very dependent on whatever your specific ATC station is gonna send to you. There is a bunch of different formats in use all over the world. Um, sometimes it'll say clear to, sometimes it'll say CLR to, sometimes it'll just say CLR. Um, the order of these fields is, is can vary. So in that case, uh, you will want to basically manually, if there's any kind of change in here or something that you didn't expect, you would want to basically manually copy that in, notably your departure and any climb instructions. If we do want to make another request, you know, if we go back to the master data link menu, you go to depart clearance, it's always going to show our latest clearance that it has received unless the avionics is power cycled. So to make another request, we just go ahead and hit the request key here and we can enter any new information. The green fields are that are in here are basically data that the FMC has memorized from any kind of previous submitted uh, entries. And any of the white fields in here are probably gonna get cleared by, the avion by a power cycle of the avionics. So that is how you get a clearance. If there's any issue with your clearance, you will wanna contact them on voice and review or do any kind of amendments that way.